Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. We have gone through all of the countries, with the exception of South Korea. South Korea! The first First Republic of Korea or South Korea briefly became democratic in 1953 before falling under autocratic rule and collapsing in 1960. The Second Republic started as a democracy but was soon overthrown by an autocratic military regime. The Third, Fourth and Fifth Republics were nominally democratic but in reality were more of a continuation of military rule. In 1987, the Sixth Republic was stabilized into a liberal democracy. The Korean royal family has no official authority. Population of South Korea is 51.71 million. The size of South Korea is 100,032 square kilometers. Religion none at 56.1%. Protestantism at 19.7%. Korean Buddhism at 15.5%. Catholicism 7.9%. Exports, electronic products, machinery, motor vehicles, particularly cars, steel, ships, textiles, and clothing. World leader, largest reserve military, largest percent of high school graduates, fastest internet speed, member of the United Nations, OECD, and the G20. Let's begin our gameplay. The game has generated the modern family party for our party. Our first opposition party is the Radical Loyalist, and the other opposition party will be Absolute Unity Party. Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as President, the lives of all 51,700,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible. While keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life, plus, do not forget that you face re-election in five years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. At the recent election, your party won a majority of 10%. This will give you some political power to implement your policy. Let's begin our term of office. We have 14 political capital to spend. Let's see what problems we inherited. North Korean threat. The United States and its Asian allies regard North Korea as a grave security threat. No country is more threatened than its neighbor to the south. Estimates put North Korean nuclear arsenal at 60 weapons or more and the South Korean capital is easily within range of a North Korean military strike. This is going to affect our military spending. This affects our foreign relations and our stability. Illegal immigration crisis. Even the toughest regime and border controls find it difficult to completely stop an illegal immigration and people smuggling, although that will not stop governments from trying. Undocumented immigrants mean a boost to population without corresponding rise in tax revenue to pay for an increased pressure on public services. This can cause social unrest and other problems. Environmental protests. There is a widespread movement of environmental protests all over the country, driven by concerns about climate change and pollution. Protesters are disrupting daily life by blocking roads and city centers to draw attention to the cause. Non-competitive economy. Our workers' lack of relative productivity and competitiveness is causing our exports to fall and flooding our country with cheap imports made overseas with lower wages, harder working, and more technological savvy employees. This is having a negative effect on our economy as our local companies cannot compete. Skill shortage. Businesses tell us that they simply cannot find enough skilled and trained people to employ. The modern economy is increasing increasingly skilled base and our citizens aren't educated enough to take their place in the modern workforce. This is going to have a negative impact on the economy. Respiratory disease, asthma and other lung diseases are a serious problem amongst our citizens. Not only does this obviously severely impact their quality of life but it is also reducing our productivity and filling our hospital beds. Poor air quality possibly caused by factory pollution and car fumes together with smoking are the likely causes. We have 14 political capital to spend. Adult education subsidies these are a way to encourage people to retrain and continue their education after they've joined the workforce. This includes evening classes and distance learning resources. These schemes help to raise the overall education level of the workforce. This is 50% popular with the vote. We are going to invest for political capital to increase our adult education subsidies too high. We will apply the changes. We have 10 political capital to spend. Technology, a general index of the level of technological sophistication of the country, including the percentage of citizens with internet access.
access and high speed broadband as well as technological understanding of students and the capabilities of industry. High technological index boosts international competitiveness. Tax incentives may be required to attract high tech industry. Technology colleges are specialist schools with a focus on computer literacy, biotechnology and similar subjects. These state run colleges receive special funding from central government in order to encourage a greater level of technological literacy among the future workforce. This is 100% popular with the vote. We're going to invest two political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have eight political capital to spend. Tobacco tax. Despite the failure of tobacco companies to admit it, there is a good reason to believe that smoking has negative effects on health. This is used as a justification for taxing tobacco. Cynics point out that the government benefits hugely from a tax on a product it is supposedly against. Health campaigners encourage the tax as a way to encourage a more healthy population. This is 0% popular with the vote. We have respiratory disease in our country. We are going to invest eight political capital to increase this to 15%. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we're at the end of our first term of our first year as president of South Korea. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our second term of our first year as president of South Korea. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Unemployment is down. Controversial march. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. An extreme right-wing political group is planning a march through our capital city. The group has strong racist tendencies and the police are convinced that if the march goes ahead, there will be violent confrontations between the marchers and the people who will show up to oppose them. The police recommend banning the march. Ban the march. The police have given us good enough reason to ban this march. We must take into account the views of the vast majority of our society who do not want or need the violence and trouble this march will cause. Freedom of speech does not mean freedom to riot. Ban this march. Allow the march. One of the basic freedoms of our society must be the right to freely assemble and put forward a political view even if it is an unpopular or minority view. The marchers are only expressing their views and opponents are free to make a peaceful protest. It is an awkward situation but banning a political demonstration is a very dictatorial thing to do. We are going to ban the march. The police have given us a good enough reason. The liberals are unhappy at negative 23%. We are seen as a strong leader at plus 10%. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. Gig economy on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. The government is currently running a budget deficit of 20.34 trillion won. We should take steps to reduce this. Polls report. The polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 25% of the vote in an election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be passable. Economic forecast. The global economy is doing okay. We are neither in a boom nor bust cycle. We have 15 political capital to spend. Parents. The extent to which voters consider themselves primarily parents will depend on how many children they have and how young they are. Those with large young families will be extremely sensitive to the issues such as childcare provision or affordability and the cost and quality of education provision. School safety and transport to school are also big issues. The parents' current opinion of our government is slightly happy. The percentage of the population who are parents is 44.70%. Childcare provision. By giving state subsidies for childcare, we can ensure more parents return to the workforce after having children and therefore benefit the economy. Although this can be expensive and is also a distortion of the market, it is popular with parents. This is 50% popular with the vote. This will increase our productivity. This will reduce our unemployment. This will increase our gender equality. We are the modern family party. We are going to invest two political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have 13 political capital to spend. Adult education subsidies. Adult education subsidies are a way to encourage people to retrain and continue their education after they've joined the workforce. This includes evening classes and distance learning resources. These schemes help to raise the overall education level of the workforce. This is 50% popular with the vote. This will lower our skill shortage. We will spend two political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have 11 political capital to spend. Refugee policy. Most countries accept that they have a moral responsibility to take migrants from disaster zones or war-torn countries. There are strong debate on how loose these restrictions and limits should be, especially if climate change and other factors lead to a large rise in global refugees. This will increase our immigration demand. This will increase our foreign relations. This will have us be seen as compassionate. Right now, our refugee policy is war zones and disasters. We will invest three political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have eight political capital to spend. Foreign investment restrictions. With foreign investment comes foreign influence.
influence. Where such influence is seen to be unwelcome, restrictions can be put in place to stem foreign investment. This curtailment of global free market is generally unpopular with capitalists, but supported by patriots who are against any foreign influence exerted on their nation. This is 0% popular with the vote. We are going to invest three political capital to lower this to minimum. We will apply the changes. We have five political capital to spend. Telecommuting initiative. Telecommuting or working from home is seen as desirable because it reduces the pressure on the transport infrastructure and can be an improvement of people's quality of life. It's also welcomed by parents. This policy offers tax incentives to companies supporting this option. This will be well received by the parents. This will increase our productivity. This will increase the telecoms industry. We have the fastest internet speed in the world in South Korea. Let's implement this policy. We are going to increase this to high. We will apply the changes. We have free political capital to spend. Congestion charging in many large cities. The number of cars traveling in each day is simply unsustainable. Although a fairly blunt instrument, simply charging through number plate recognition, every vehicle that enters a city each day has proven to be an effective way to reduce congestion in extreme cases. This is 0% popular with the vote, but we are having traffic congestion due to the environmental protests. We're going to invest three political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend, and thus we're at the end of our second term of our first year as president of South Korea. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our third term of our first year as president of South Korea. Let's see how we did. Climate change protocol. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. The United Nations Climate Change Conference signed a new protocol to limit the emissions of greenhouse gases in industrialized country. Your country participated in the talks and drove a hard bargain in order not to put too much strain on the economy. Still, ratifying the protocol can be costly, limiting GDP growth and worker productivity. On the other hand, experts claim that this is the only way to save the environment. Do we ratify the protocol? Ratify the protocol. Reducing greenhouse gas emission is necessary step to make sure our children will be born on a habitable planet. A small hit to the economy is well worth this goal. Do not ratify. With our economy at stake, we cannot ratify a proposal that prevents growth, productivity, and wealth. Other means of protecting the environment will have to suffice for now. We are the leader of the modern family party. We are going to ratify the protocol to make sure our children will be born on a habitable planet. The capitalists are unhappy at negative 18%. CO2 emissions go down at negative 10%. The environmentalists are happy at plus 17%. Polls report. The polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 21% of the vote in an election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be possible. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. We have 15 political capital to spend. Tobacco tax. Despite the failure of tobacco companies to admit it, there is a good reason to believe that smoking has a negative effect on health. This is used as a justification for taxing tobacco. Cynics point out that the government benefits hugely from a tax on a product it is supposedly against. Health campaigners encourage the tax as a way to encourage a more healthy population. This is 0% popular with the vote. We're going to invest 8 political capital to increase our tobacco tax to 22%. We will apply the changes. We have 7 political capital to spend. Skill shortages. Businesses tell us that they simply cannot find enough skilled and trained people to employ. The modern economy is increasingly skills-based and our citizens just aren't educated enough to take their place in the modern workforce. This is going to have a negative impact on the economy. Education. The measure of the education level of the average citizen. Not only literacy, but numeracy and general understanding of everything from history to IT and science. State schools. Free education for all ensures high level of literacy and can be beneficial to the economy, especially those part of the economy requiring a skilled workforce. The flip side of this is that state education can be expensive for the government. Capitalists see state education as unnecessary intervention in the free market. This is 68% popular with the vote. Right now we have modern textbooks. We are going to invest six political capital to increase our state schools. We will apply the changes. We have one political capital to spend. Cyberbullying awareness campaign, a program of adverts on TV, radio, online, and billboards to warn parents and teachers to look out for signs their children are being bullied online so that the problem can be spotted early and dealt with before it affects the children's mental health. This is 100% popular with the vote. We are going to invest one political capital and bring it all the way to maximum. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our third 
term of our first year as president of South Korea. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our fourth term of our first year as president of South Korea. Let's see how we did. Health is down. Tinderbox. High winds down power lines last year, which were the cause of the worst wildfires on record. With storms forecast, power plants have planned outages to prevent another inferno. Environmentalists are unhappy at negative 12%. Environmentalist membership has increased at plus 10%. The GDP has gone down at negative 5%. Solution, we have a serious pollution problem. This could lead to health problems. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation. Water shortage on our hands if we do not act soon. Budget report. The government is currently running a budget deficit of 17.61 trillion won. We should take steps to reduce this. Polls report. Your approval rating is disappointing. If you believe the polls, you would get 21% of the vote. Our party, the modern family party, is getting more popular in the last quarter. We added 77,782 new members and 25,927 new activists. Economic forecast. Good news. The global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. We have 14 political capital to spend. Salination plants are a way to make water suitable for human consumption using seawater as input. Although expensive and energy intensive, it is a solution to a water shortage where other methods to prevent water shortage have failed or are insufficient or unpopular. This is 35% popular with the vote. We are going to implement this policy. We are going to invest a little bit and we are going to apply the changes. We have eight political capital to spend. Compulsory water meters. The installation of water meters for every household and the subsequent charging for water based on consumption is one very effective method for reducing water usage and preventing a water shortage. Although it can be a long, slow process to install meters for every house in the country. This is 100% popular with the vote. We will implement this policy. We we will apply the changes. We have two political capital to spend. Reforestation as a measure to combat CO2. Tree planting is relatively uncontroversial. However, some campaigners suggest that this is treating the symptom, not the cause, and that CO2 should be reduced at the source, not captured afterwards. This is 100% popular with the vote. This will address our pollution and our respiratory disease. It will lower unemployment, lower CO2 emissions, and the environment will benefit. We will spend two political capital to plant. 40 million trees a year. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend. And thus we're at the end of our fourth term of our first year as president of South Korea. And thus we're at the end of this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by our cricket house. If you like what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.